That's pretty clear. I gotta say no. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted, you know, the, the thing behind the, the no mask is I wanted to take a position against all the stuff that I, that I don't like. So, and it's very rare to say no nowadays. So I wanted to say it loud. And because, you know, the mask is the only biggest catalyst that I have, I wanted to use it. Well, there's a lot of stuff that I don't like. I don't like what's going on in the world. I don't like what Trump has been doing. I don't like what Korea has been doing as well. I don't like where the music is going to. Uh, I don't like Italian politics as well. There's a lot of stuff to talk about. How much time do you have? I do, I do, it depends. If I do like, you know, on stage, if we do the encore, I put the old mask on and uh, it's kind of cool, you know, it's tradition. I feel like a superhero? Not really. <laughs> uh, I feel like that I'm almost blind, I cannot breathe properly and I cannot hear. So it's, it's kind of complex. A lot of stuff to talk about here. Um, well, I remember in Toronto a couple of a couple of years ago. I was there was a, like a beautiful catwalk, and I love I, I really love catwalks. I love you know jumping and running to the very end of the catwalk with the microphone. And there was a girl in front of me, and like we were really close to each other. And I remember that he grabbed my balls while I was singing. <laughs> And he kept, you know, grabbing my balls like for two minutes. That was the longest screamo I ever had on stage. I had a scream, you know. I was already on the screamo part of my song. It kept going. I tried to be very, very quiet to keep all my energy inside so I can have the best delivery on stage. It's not really a ritual, but I, it's like um, a quiet before the storm. I like being very, very quiet and silent. I eat my apple, drink my water, and then I go and rock the stage. Sleep, because if I go party hard, I cannot make it to the next gig. So it's, it's um, you know, so, some people think that Bob is crazy, he's out of cocaine, and you know, <laughs> that's crazy shit. It's not real, guys. It's a job. I mean, what I do on stage needs preparation. I go to the gym four days a week to get that kind of delivery on stage. So it's a, it's a real job. I'm like a weird guy going around with a mask talking to you. Is it not really crazy? Not attached to fame or the celebrity world. Okay. So I wanted to let the music speak. That, that's the main reason. Uh, that's and uh, the fact that I really need to protect my private life just because I'm a quiet guy and I love hanging around with people. Um, so sometimes, you know, you got too famous, too popular, and you don't get to, to stay with your friends. That's, you know, fame can become kind of an alienating thing. So I don't want that. And so I decided 10 years ago, 11 years ago actually, to, to put the mask on. Ah, uh, the life changes every day, and if you want to take, you know, that journey, it's it's an amazing journey. And I'm lucky enough to to you know to live a dream because you know I gotta express myself in the best possible way, music, and uh, and I keep evolving. That's that's what I'm you know I've been learning for 49 years. Never stop learning, never stop evolving, never stop changing and expressing myself differently. I think my life is related to music. It's like complementary. So it's not detached. What I do in life, it's exactly what happens in music after. So it's, it's, it's the same thing, it's glued together. a long story but we have a friend in common and that friend is Martin Glover uh, called Youth who is the bass player of a band called Killing Joke, a post-punk band from the 70s and they have a project together called The Fireman and um, when Youth you know, asked me if I wanted 
to do a collaboration, I said, well, you're a friend with Paul McCartney, I would love to, to work with Paul McCartney. And they said, okay, let's make that happen. And uh, it happened. <laughs> the bloody beepers is something that you eat. So, and you get to see the blood. So the bloody beepers is the most amazing and I don't know if it's the most amazing name in dance electronic music, but it's something that lasts, you know? So you gotta remember that name. If I call myself, I don't know, Bob, you're not gonna remember because <laughs> it's a common name, but you're gonna remember the bloody people just because of the name. I'm very excited. I played last time in Paris, like probably, I don't know, Solid Days last year. <laughs> I can't wait, yeah, I'm so looking forward to play for you guys. Paris is such an amazing crowd. That's always very passionate about the blood beaters. Final word for my um, French friends is um, get the fuck out.